Hello YouTube, this is Urban Survivor, and I came across a really interesting survival item today, and it gave me a lot of cool ideas, and you know, it might not be perfect for everybody, and you know, most most likely it's not perfect for most people, but it's a, it's a pretty cool item, and uh, you know, it might work for you. So, um, here we go. This is the, uh, basically the uh, survival type uh, gas or motorized bike, so it's a it's a bicycle but it also has a gas engine on it and um if you envision a mad max type scenario and you're preparing for a lone wolf style life on the road um you know traveling from town to town and scavenging for supplies um, you might consider a motorized bike as part of your preps um, it allows you to travel um, on both gas and the energy from your body and it's really efficient and um, pretty speedy as well and uh, you know these bikes are pretty incredible in terms of what they'll allow you to do when you know compared to a car um, and uh, what kind of got me started in this idea was I saw a product called the Motoped survival bike um, as you can see here this thing is uh, pretty beastly looking it has uh, it claims to be able to get about 250 to 300 miles or so on um, you know the gas that it keeps in its tank and also um, you know what it allows you to store on the bike um, it also has a rack which will allow you to carry a lot of your gear you know you might have a you know a backpack with you or some you know a tent or some other items that you know you don't want to be walking with for hundreds of miles and you know, a lot of people there their bug out bags weigh, you know, anywhere between 30 to 70 pounds, maybe more, depending on how much water you take with you. So they can get quite heavy. And, you know, to think that you're going to be able to just carry that and walk um, for miles and miles and miles, it, you know, it might be tougher than, than you imagine. So, um, yeah, this has a, uh, a pedal system, which, which allows you to pedal and also, you know, receive the benefits of the gas powered engine. And uh, this bike also has two one-gallon uh, gas storage tanks, which is pretty cool. So this is uh, this one has a 125 cc engine with 7.78 um, horsepower with uh, six foot-pounds of torque at, at roughly 5,000 RPM, and it also has uh, disc brakes. And this bike claims to have a max speed of 24 miles an hour. So, um, probably thinking, uh, you know, what the heck is this thing going to cost me? And it's it's not a pretty price tag. Uh, actually, it's it's sold out on the website right now, so I don't even know if you can get it. Uh, you might be able to contact them, and they might be able to work something out for you. But the price tag on... Um, the 125cc engine model is uh, close to $3,800, which is you know pretty shocking, especially if you're not going to use this bike very regularly and just keep it as a as a prep. Uh, you know most people probably couldn't afford to do that. And also the weight on this bike is incredible; it's 132 pounds. And uh, you know if it runs out of fuel and you're not able to get fuel, uh, it's pretty heavy. And if you, you know, include the weight of your gear in that as well, you're going to be looking at probably something close to 200 pounds, which is really heavy. So I don't think it's very practical without, um, without gas. And, you know, you might end up just having to ditch the whole thing if you, if you run out of gas. And also, you know, the, the speed is decent. 24 miles an hour is pretty quick, but, uh, you know, you certainly won't be able to outrun an automobile. You'll you'll probably be able to outrun most people, but um, you know, if you get up to full speed, but um, it's not that impressive. So I was searching around uh, on the internet for some you know alternatives that pretty much deliver the same uh, capabilities, but at a much more affordable price point. And I found a, a pretty interesting bike called the Crimson Tide on eBay. Uh, and it was priced at roughly $500, including shipping. And, you know, it's not quite as well made. It's not quite as cool. It's not quite as tactical. 
doesn't have you know the gas engine um or the gas tank uh you know add on on the side but um it does have a rack it does have uh one of those baskets in the front and if you know if you really wanted extra um things mounted to it um you could probably rig it yourself to do that and uh this kit basically you know includes the full bike and also the engine and um it's uh you know probably 90 percent the same item maybe maybe even more it uh it really does give you all the same benefits as the more expensive uh, motoped survival bike at, at a much more reasonable price point and i think it makes it more manageable for uh, you know more people to consider and uh you know this bike it gets anywhere between 90 and 100 miles per gallon which is incredible and you know you can also bring extra gas with you as well and uh, this bike has a you know a 30 plus mile per hour uh, top speed so it is a bit quicker and um you know it will make you probably more difficult to catch um and you'll be able to travel a little bit faster uh the weight on this bike is unlisted but uh, i cannot imagine it being anywhere close to 132 pounds um you know the this bike i would imagine would be probably closer to 60 or 70 pounds at the most um you know if you're interested you probably want to contact them to find out the specific weight but uh, i i cannot imagine it being anywhere near um, as heavy as the other bike and um you know it, it's not as well made but um you know it'll probably do the job um also if you already have a bike or maybe you have an old bike lying around or something like that you can buy a, a conversion kit so it'll basically be you know the engine and a couple other spare parts that you would need to convert the bike um you know to being a gas powered um vehicle and um that might be an option that you might want to consider it probably would be cheaper to do as well these kits i'm seeing anywhere between 100 and 200 dollars um depending on how big of a engine you want um but if you are going to bug out with a motorized bike uh, you might want to consider bringing with you some spare parts um, you know maybe some tires um, maybe some oil maybe some extra brakes things like that to you know account for uh, the normal wear and tear that you might expect to see on the road um, also you might want to bring with you a way to siphon gasoline um, as well you know if, if it is truly really a bad situation um, you might have to uh, scavenge for gasoline and the only place you might be able to find it uh, it could be in in somebody's abandoned car or something like that so um, I found a a really small manual pump um, inside of a um, like a car emergency kit it you know it had jumper cables and um, some small flares and a couple things like that and also had a small um just tiny handheld pump that you could use to siphon gas if you needed to so that would probably be something that you'd want to include um also it, it would be difficult to um travel um you know on a motorized bike if you had kids or you know old people with you or somebody who's not really maybe in good shape something like that um, this would probably be best for you know the lone wolf uh, the one person bug out um, or perhaps you know a, a husband and wife team who are you know looking to be pretty mobile and pretty agile um, these bikes probably would also be good if you needed to patrol your bug out location or maybe do supply runs something like that um, also the last thing you want to keep in mind is that these these bikes can be pretty noisy so you're not really going to be able to be very stealthy at least while the engine is running um you know these bikes can be heard from pretty far away so uh you know if if you're confident that you're too much noise is not going to draw the wrong kind of attention then go ahead and use these things but um, they are going to be noisy but you know in a pinch if you need some speed and you're not worried about the sound then definitely having the motor would probably be a huge benefit to you 
All right, well, that's all I have uh, to discuss about the survival bikes. So if you uh, like this video, please subscribe and feel free to leave any uh, questions or comments. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.